Hey guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live, and you too can join the club at richpicksdaily.com where you can learn how to win and trade. Hi, how's everybody doing today? I'm your host, Rich, here, your host from Rich TV Live with our very special guest, many time guest, the CEO of Wonderfy Technologies, Ben Samaru. How are you doing today, Ben? Doing great, Rich. How are you? I'm doing very well. Happy holidays. Happy Easter. want to wish you and everyone that's watching a happy holidays. And my first question for you today, Ben, is obviously it's great to have you back on the show. And you guys are on a roll right now acquiring some of the biggest crypto companies in Canada. First, you guys just recently announced the acquisition of BitBuy, and now you're announcing a deal with Coinberry. So can you tell everyone that's watching today, what does this mean for Wonderfy Technologies? Absolutely. So yeah, very excited to get Coinberry announced. Uh, we got the bit by deal closed just a few weeks ago, March 24th. And uh, that I think was a sort of precedent setter for acquisitions in the crypto space of licensed platforms. So very, uh, very excited to get that deal closed and then also to have reached a, a, a deal with Coinberry. So what we're doing is we're building the leading crypto platform uh, within Canada. The vision is obviously global and we are in global markets already, but I think what we're seeing in Canada is that the space is very fragmented. So there's 20, 30 different crypto trading platforms. And then you've got some of the big global players that are looking to enter markets like Canada. At the same time, some of these smaller platforms are trying to get into global markets, but it's not really in a meaningful way. So through the acquisition of BitBuy and now Coinberry, and you know, we're looking at um, you know, other uh, accretive acquisitions for the company, we now find ourselves as the lar what I believe is the largest crypto platform in Canada uh, from a user uh, count standpoint. So that is a great launch pad for getting into some of these bigger markets. Um, it, 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 it's a lot more meaningful and, and, and really gives us a good, uh, you know, a good first step to, to do that. So uh, yeah, really excited to get it uh, to get this announced, and and you know we're we're continuing to focus on uh, licensed uh, uh, platforms and also uh, countries that are starting to issue their first uh, crypto exchange licenses. Uh, so we're also pursuing that at the same time. Congratulations on all of your success being number one in Canada in the short period of time that you guys have been public is a huge, huge success story. So very, very proud of your success and you should be proud of your success as well. It's not easy to become no, number one essentially within a few months. And that's essentially what you guys have done. So that's something to definitely be proud of. Now, with these two big deals under Wonderfy's belt, where would you rank Wonderfy amongst its peers in this space as a publicly traded company? So with, you know, we look at a, a few different factors. One is revenue, one is users. And then I think an important one that is less uh, quantitative is really product offerings. And that one's really important because if you have a broad set of product offerings, you're able to increase the LTV of your users and, and therefore increase your revenue. And so I think there's a... Um, you know, we're, we're, we're working on some of the short term things and the long term things at the same time. Um, so the, the launch of Wonderfy Interactive recently, the launch of our, our DeFi app, um, and, uh, you know, us stepping into to NFTs at the same time as the license exchange business, all of those things fit within this umbrella of being able to provide users with uh, unified access to digital assets across the Wonderfy ecosystem. So we're thinking, like an Apple ecosystem where you now don't have to go to, you know, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different platforms to access whatever you want to within digital assets. And I think that's a problem that we hear a lot from users is that they have to manage all of these different accounts and passwords and keys across all these different um, platforms. So we're unifying that uh, through single sign on across all these different brands and products that we're launching and acquiring. And I think that, uh, you know, I, I really believe that's going to be a differentiator for us as we, uh, as we also grow those key metrics of, uh, you know, what's the revenue today and, what, <clears throat> and what's the user count today. Um, 
so, uh, but then circling back to user count and revenue, I think this, this puts us around uh, 750,000 users. Wow. Uh, like I said, for, for, uh, for a Canadian plat crypto platform, I believe that is the, the largest. Um, that doesn't include Wealthsimple, um, you know, who obviously is a, a more broader business that offers uh, you know, stock and, uh, and other sort of investment opportunities. But I believe Wealthsimple is around 2 million. So that sort of puts things into perspective based on, you know, their valuation and, uh, and, and, and what that business looks like. So we're really, you know, aggressively growing that. And with BitBuy, their, their revenue over the last 12 months was in the $34 million range. Um, Coinberry, just over $13 million. Um, so, you know, we're well over 50 million uh, for our uh, like trailing 12 months revenue. And, and obviously we're growing that with more diverse products that we're offering. Uh, so, you know, for me in, in my role, uh, there's obviously key metrics that I look at, um, you know, talent and product is, is, is essential, but I, you know, we're really racing towards hundred million in revenue um, and a million users, uh, which I think we're going to hit the, I thought those would be sort of, uh, pretty close in terms of timing. I think we'll hit the user mark uh, quite, you know, quite a bit before um, the, the the revenue target. But um, that's you know that's how we're thinking about uh, um, ourselves. And and I'll keep rambling for a second because I'm realizing I didn't answer your question of how do we view ourselves versus comparable. So I think in the public markets, um, you obviously have you know the the way that a lot of investors look at the crypto space is they understand and they know miners and that's a lot of institutional, a lot of retail investors I talk to, that's what they know and understand. They know how to, they know Hive, and they know them, you know, they're sim simple enough business models to understand. And what we're really trying to carve out is this category of the picks and shovels, the, pl the platforms that provide access to those assets, because a lot of investors are not coming into the space because they're afraid of volatility in Bitcoin, which affects minor uh, stock prices, but it really shouldn't be affecting the uh, the 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 price of um, and valuation of uh, platforms like Wonderfy because when there's volatility we make we make money we're just like the TSX we're just like the Nasdaq in that regard um, and so you know we're we, that that's kind of a a message that I think is really important for um, you know the investment community as they get more educated um, about crypto um, and then on the comparable side. I think they're on the platform uh, trading platforms. It's really Coinbase and Voyager that are, um, I'd say, the closest comparables from a um, from a product and, and just business uh, standpoint. Um, there are other, you know, uh, public uh, companies in the crypto and, and the DeFi space that um, deal with staking and um, investing in other assets, uh, which. Um, it, you know, which I think is a is, is a bit of a different model. So, you know, really for comparables now, I'm looking more at Coinbase and Voyager uh, for Wonderfy. Fantastic. And I know you mentioned this a little bit, but I want to get a little bit more detail. Can you tell the viewers how much potential revenues these two assets, BitBuy, which is already closed, and Coinberry, which is to be closed in Q2 of 2022, will add to the consolidated balance sheet of Wonderfy? Yes, so uh, BitBuy is around thirty-four million dollars. Uh, Coinberry for the year ended twenty twenty-one is just over thirteen million dollars in revenue. Uh, so you know, really, really significant uh, assets. Uh, the, the businesses are run extremely well, and we're looking at ways to um, really integrate them with Wonderfy with each other. There's a ton of synergies across. Uh, all the different departments, technology, management, uh, compliance, customer service, it just, and, and this is where the consolidation just starts to make sense because all these, all these companies are competing for talent, uh, you know, uh, and, and, you know, bringing the, the best of all worlds together really creates a stronger uh, Canadian presence uh, that allows us to start to get into these global markets. Does the company have any more acquisitions in its sites? You guys obviously have these two big acquisitions. You just mentioned a combined 700,000 customers. It's, it's just incredible. And doing the math, quick math, 44 million in revenue. So from a startup to 700,000 customers and from a startup to 44 million in revenue, that's really good. So you guys have any more tricks up your sleeve? Any other acquisitions you guys are working on? So the BitBuy acquisition, when we got 
let me let me back up a second. So we we've been looking at M and A since we started the company. I think we we see a lot of we we knew this consolidation was uh, was in the pipes when we announced Bitbuy. That started a lot of inbound to Wonderfy because people saw that we had the vision for um, for executing on this, and obviously saw sort of the team behind it. Um, and when we announced that the Ontario Securities Commission approved the acquisition of Bitbuy, which was the first uh acquisition of a licensed crypto platform in north america then the floodgates started to open and so in terms of um strategic m a opportunities there are a lot within canada and a lot internationally so we are certainly actively looking and uh and in conversations and the scale now which you mentioned some of the uh, you know some of the numbers the scale now really means we're you know we're we're starting to enter kind of a different um uh, playing field so some of these opportunities uh you know could uh really springboard us and uh, not just within the canadian market but within some of these other markets that we're actively looking at that's really exciting for shareholders and full disclosure i am a shareholder and before we go today is there anything else you want shareholders to know about wonderfy we just updated our investor deck, which is available on the website. Uh, there's been a lot of uh, development and growth within the company uh, in a very short period of time. So we're, you know, we're we're trying to take the time to, you know, to make sure that we're telling the story and and really communicating what the vision is. So I think that's a very uh, useful document to go through to really understand where we're headed. We're 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 having to update that obviously with the Coinberry acquisition. So there's another you know another business line that that comes into that. But you know at the end of the day, what we're doing is providing unified access to digital assets and doing it in a compliant way. And I think what you're going to see with companies like Wonderfy when we're positioned versus some of the global incumbents is that some of the global incumbents have ma- made um, you know bad blood with regulators. And so they're not able to operate in some really um, crypto friendly uh, jurisdictions. So that leads leads the way for companies like Wonderfy uh, with brands like Bitbuy, Coinberry, and you know, other other products that we're launching and, and, and looking at rolling in to enter those markets in a really meaningful way uh, with, you know, with clean hands. And so I think compliance is going to be, you know, I I, as a former lawyer, I feel like I always hate saying compliance is so important because it just feels like, you know, it's just a a lawyer giving you a lecture, but really now we're starting to see that in terms of being able to obtain market share, it actually is very key. And it's a differentiator for us against some of these global players. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And it's one of the reasons why we here at Rich TV Live and our community all over the world has so much interest in Wonderfy Technologies. I literally get messages every day. Rich, when are you going to get them back on your show? Rich, what's going on with Wonderfy? There's so much interest about Wonderfy technologies, literally from all over the globe. Now, in saying that, what is the best way for anyone that is interested in having any questions to get in touch with the company? For, uh, for, for users, the, the best way is, you know, for, for users, try out the Wonderfy app. Uh, you can contact... Uh, customer support or us on social media, if you have questions or, or are looking for new features to be added or, or requests uh, for, for people trading on Bitbuy, uh, go to bitbuy.ca. Uh, same goes for Coinberry, both great platforms and both uh, serving slightly different user segments. And then for investors, uh, again, the investor deck is a great place to start. Uh, invest at Wonderfy is a um, uh, our IR uh, investor relations contact, and so you can feel free to reach out, and you know we're happy to uh, yeah happy to share uh, information as as we're uh, as we're permitted to do so. Thank you for your time today, the CEO of Wonderfy Technologies, Ben Samaru. Before I say goodbye, I must remind everyone that Rich TV Live is strictly for information, education, and entertainment purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. In saying that, we've been talking about Wonderfy technology since it was pre-IPO. It has done extremely well for our community. We really believe it's still in the early stages 
And I wanted to congratulate you, Ben, for all the hard work and effort you've put in building this from a startup to now a company with hundreds of thousands of customers and millions of dollars of revenue. So congratulations on all your hard work. And we look forward to seeing you guys continue to evolve, Ben. Thanks so much, Rich. Really appreciate it. Always a pleasure. The CEO of Wonderfy Technologies, Ben Samaru. If you like the video, please smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere and subscribe. And just put your attention on the symbol WNDR in Canada, W-O-N-D-F in America. Put it on your radar, put it on your watch list. This is Rich from Rich to be Live with Ben Samaru saying, have a nice day, everybody. We'll see you soon.